Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tanner and thank you for coming along on this next review. Today I've got the iJoy Diamond. This is on loan from a friend of mine so it's a little scuffed up and stuff but it's going to work just fine nonetheless. So to kick this off, this is the iJoy Diamond PD270. It is 92 millimeters tall. It is 49 millimeters wide here and 35 millimeters at the width right there. Um, you can tell very easily why it's called the diamond. It's got kind of this diamond shape design on the front and back. There's the nice diamond logo and just like all of iJoy's other mods, iJoy is kind of underneath the glass there. Got your up and down buttons they're pretty clicky your usb for charging and then this diamond style button right there is very clicky i really like this uh, fire button here the the up and down button have a little play to them and a little rattle as well that's kind of a con that i noticed right off the bat Right here on the bottom, you've got some battery ventilation. Right up top, there is your 510 connection. It's not very springy. Uh, it does go down a little bit and it's actually very hard to press down. So some of your atomizers, you're gonna have to push down to turn and actually get it locked on there. To get inside the battery bank, right down here on the bottom, you've got this little notch that you put your thumb in. but I've kind of just found you can just kind of grab each side and just lift up. You've got a magnet here and a magnet here. And I believe there's magnets in here. It's just underneath the plastic. But right there is the battery tray. See, it says iJoy right there and a positive and negative and negative and positive. It's got two gold plated spring loaded pins right there. Uh, I really kind of doubled down with all of their mods of recent. They take these 2700s, and this does take two of them. Get those put in here. And then that back just kind of snaps into place. And once it's on there, it's on there very well. It's not going to go anywhere. The only problem I've seen is if you can hear that, there's a little rattle in these buttons here, but everything else kind of stays very, very well. It's very ergonomic. It's it's not a small mod by no means. Here it is in compared to the Captain. They're about the same height, uh, but the diamond is a little thicker, I would say. Most definitely at the top, you can see a huge difference there. So it is five clicks of the power button to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. It says diamond v12 and then it comes up this screen here now i wanted to show you this screen and the screen on the captain are almost identical with a little bit of stuff missing here at the bottom uh, but other than that these are the exact same chips uh, i don't know if they did that to save money or whatnot but a lot of people like this anyway so they decided to go with it um, so this mod does start at 5 watts and goes all the way up to, very quickly should I say, 234. And you can go, right there, you can go from 100 up in 1 increments and anything below 100 you can go in 0.1 increments. And this right here, this is the Freemax mesh tank on there that's a 25 millimeter tank so you can see you could go up to you know a 30 a 32 millimeter tank and still not be hanging over so you're going to be able to get very large atomizers on this and it is going to be able to put out enough wattage and enough voltage with those 2700s that it's uh you're not going to have any problem with that but uh just like all of ijoy's things it is one two three to get into the menu settings and then you have your power, which is watts. And then you have normal, hard, soft, and user. I just keep it on normal. One, two, three. 
get you into here. You have temperature control with nickel, stainless, titanium, memory one, and memory two. One, two, three. Get you back in here. You have TCRs, and you do have two of these, two memories for your TCRs. You just click on that, and you can set those wherever you're liking. Hit the up button to go back out. One, two, three. And then lastly is reset puff and set. So here you can set, this is for the screen turn off time. I have it on 30 seconds. That's just within 30 seconds, the screen will go black. Uh, and then once again, and then once again, you can reset your puffs right there. So the screen is pretty self-explanatory. You have your Watts here at the top. W shows Watts. Uh, your A and B battery charges, uh, the voltage you're going to see in live view once you actually hit it. So you're more pushing 3.27 volts. Uh, it is 1.4 resistance right there and 22 amps. Over here, you're going to have your mode, which is the watts, and then your power is normal in that little box right there. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward mod. Uh, it looks very nice. Uh, the black, this is going to come in a few different colors. I'll pop those up on the screen right now. But yeah, guys, that's the up close for the iJoy Diamond. Let's uh, take this back up top, vape it, and talk a little bit more about it. So, guys, today we're talking about the iJoy Diamond. It's a beautiful little mod. Uh, it actually comes the diamond logo right there on this one is white. It actually comes in either white or yellow. I prefer the white a lot better, especially on the black. It looks much, much better white. But I'll show you this thing in action. We've got this is the Freemax mesh tank on here. We're doing 80 watts, 3.27 volts to get this. So. I'm gonna start off by saying it's a great little mod. It's very ergonomic in the hand. It's a little fatter than uh, mods that I'm typically used to using. Uh, I'll show you here. This is next to the Segeli 213. You see, this is much, much wider. Uh, put it next to the drag. Much wider than the drag. Uh, not really this way, should I say? but uh, definitely this way, it's much, much wider. But because of that round uh, diamond shape that you see there on the hard plastic, uh, other, it's very, very comfortable because of that. Um, it does feel like a cheaper mod. Um, I do believe that this is like a zinc alloy, but then all of this is a plastic. So um, even to have like 2700s in here, this is a pretty light mod to, to be as large as it is and to have such big batteries. It is uh, surprisingly light. Pros and cons. Pro, it's a beautiful, beautiful little mod. I like that it uses 2700s. Uh, I hope that other companies start coming out with 2700s. This actually comes with iJoy's uh, personal brand. or They probably have a company making them and then they're slapping their logo on it, but it does come with iJoy batteries. I'm ready for companies like Sony to start making these batteries and see how they can really push them. Uh, this also does come with an adapter to use 18650s, so you don't have to go out and just buy a whole 2600 batteries. If you already have 18650s, it does come with that adapter. It's just a little rubber sleeve, slides on top of your batteries, pops right in there just like these do. Taking the batteries out are pretty easy. Uh, because of this little lip right here you see on the battery, you just kind of pull up, they pull right out. So uh, you're not going to have any trouble getting the batteries in or out. Uh, but a con is this rattle right there. It's not really coming from the battery door, it's coming from these two buttons. Uh, I joy, you really need to work on that because like, you don't want to put products out onto the market that are rattling like that. And this, this mod has been out for a few months now, and it these are the, the final production and the rattling. That's a problem. For me, that's a con. Um, but the, the pros with this, I believe, outweigh the cons exponentially. 
Um, like, I love my captain. I've used this thing, captain, my captain. Um, I've used this mod for consistently on a daily basis for the past two months, and I absolutely love it. This is the same interface, just on a different body. So because of that, I do like this, and I am a fan of this mod. Uh, I love the button right here. It's very, very comfortable to either finger fire or thumb fire. Either one, it's very, very comfortable. It does have your TCR settings and your memory settings. You have two of those. Um, it has regular watts and temperature control. So it has all your little gizmos and gadgets and stuff. So it is a great little mod for you to start out at. And you're going to be able to pick this up for around $70 to $80, depending on the site that you're looking at. Um, it's a little bit more in shops, but uh, try to always support your local vape shops. It helps them out tremendously. But uh, yeah, guys, that is the iJoy Diamond. Uh, I'll have some links down below on websites that I know are carrying it. But uh, thanks for coming along, guys. Think about subscribing, hitting that notification bell if you found this helpful. And uh, think about sticking around or checking out my other channel. It's just Tanner Watson. It'll pop up around this area. But uh, thanks for coming along, guys.